How Tulum helped me become a tatty open water diver. In this video, you'll see how I, as a total beginner, went on my first dive and obtained my PADI Open Water Certification in Tulum, Mexico. And how our positive experiences in Tulum helped me overcome my fear of water. Going to the beach for me so far meant chilling on the beach and looking at the water. Not necessarily going inside and I always had many good reasons for it. My eyes burn from the salt water, I don't want my hair to get wet, the seagrass feels gross, the waves are too strong, the water feels cold in my ears. You get the picture. Even though secretly I did want to spend more time in the water. I wouldn't have said that I'm afraid of water, I'm definitely just not a water person. I prefer looking at it, not being in it. And then came Tulum. Tulum had been our home for a full two months and for very good reason. Besides being home to the Mayan ruins, it's got the best beach we had seen in Mexico so far. The beach is wide and offers lots of fun activities like volleyball, free outdoor gyms and beach bars with DJs. There's lots of space to hang out and enjoy the turquoise water. The town itself is very trendy and home to many hippie and wannabe spiritual people. The food trucks were one of my favorite places to hang out and have dinner. They had live music and a great variety of food and it was just a two minute walk away from where we ended up staying. Unfortunately, the beach is located quite far from the city center. However, that also means that living downtown is more affordable than staying at a hotel by the ocean. And that's what we did. Our new home. We were so lucky to find Patrick, our new host, who rented out amazing vacation homes in midst of palm trees in the center of Tulum. It was a peaceful oasis with a swimming pool deep enough for diving. And little did I know that this would be the beginning of my diving career. Our host Patrick was from Germany and had been living in Mexico for some years. Also, he's an experienced dive master and organized a cave dive for Paul and his friends in the cenote of Dos Ojos. He's your guy if you want to have a tour in the ruins or go on a dive in the cenotes. My first cenote. A cenote is an underwater cave and the Mayans believed they were sacred windows into the underworld where gods and spirits would reside. While the guys were on their dive, I went snorkeling. I could see the bottom of the cenote and was impressed by all its spikes and pillars, but that was only fun for about half an hour. I started to think that diving down there would probably be more adventurous than floating at the surface like a dead fish. When I told Paul that I was interested in scuba diving, he was so excited. He had been diving since he was a teenager and has always been a water rat. So naturally he was really excited when I told him that I want to give diving a try. Even if I still felt so clumsy in the water, he encouraged me and we decided to tell our diving master, Patrick. Back at the house, Patrick suggested that I should get my open water diver certification. With this, I would be able to go on dives with a guide. Patrick offered to do the first dive with me in our pool. When he told me the exercises that I would have to pass in order to get certified, they pretty much covered my list of water-related nightmares. Opening my eyes on the water, diving without a mask, removing the regulator from my mouth, and simulating other deep water emergency horror situations. <laughs> Ich mach so, ich mach so. Ja, 
Leute. Und hier Reaktion. <lacht> <laughs> After two hours in the pool and a lot of patience on his side, I managed to overcome the fear of filling my mask with water and losing the regulator. I felt ready for the real dive. Diving in the cenote. The first two dives took place at Tanka Cenote in Tulum. There are different cenotes, those that are closed and those that are open, meaning these are caves that collapsed in on themselves and are like an open water pool, perfect for your first dive. Paul and some friends joined in on the dive and it was an amazing experience. Everyone was telling me how lucky I was to get to see this on my first dive and I guess they were right. It was so impressive and it felt all so light and easy. Turns out, when your eyes are protected with a mask and they give you air to breathe underwater, it is a lot less scary. After my first dive, my instructor explained how to put together my equipment and practice some more emergency scenarios. And off we went on our second dive. We practiced some signals for scenarios such as failing instruments or feeling unwell, which helped me gain more confidence. I already started to feel like a water animal myself. My dives in the ocean. A few days later, we planned my next two dives. This time we went offshore diving. It was pretty stormy, so our small boat was moving a lot, which unfortunately made me feel quite seasick. After I had to fall backwards off the boat into the water, I had to follow a rope down to the bottom of the ocean. Once on the water, I felt less sick and was able to enjoy the dive. We practiced some more exercises such as buoyancy control, using inflatable signal tubes, and diving for one minute without a mask. I couldn't believe what I had been afraid of all those years. First off, the salt water didn't hurt my eyes once they were open, and secondly, it is so much better to see what's going on around you. Going back up to change tanks on the boat, I started feeling seasick again. Just to be sure what to do when worst comes to worst, I asked my instructor how to deal with actually getting sick underwater. He told me to just throw up into the regulator without removing it from my mouth. <laughs> okay, that should be fun. The second dive was even more beautiful. I tried to keep my breaths deep and slow so I would keep my stomach calm. After 45 minutes, it was time for our decompression stop. You need a decompression stop at about 5 meters so your body can get rid of gases in your blood. If you don't stop for a few minutes before your final ascent, those bubbles would expand and cause decompression sickness. Not fun. How to beat seasickness Back on the surface and eventually on the boat, I was relieved that I have managed to complete all my dives and see so many amazing creatures in the water. On the boat, I tried not to focus too much on the moving waves, but look into the distance, at the land and the clouds. Eventually though, I learned the hard way that getting rid of seasickness is just to throw up into the water. My tip is, choose the leeward side if you can. Otherwise, you'll have an additional problem coming back at you. The theory part of the certification. The quiz to complete in order to get your certification was not too hard. It was 50 questions that covered the whole book of the Patty Open Water Diver and helped consolidate all the knowledge I had collected. With a score of 48 of 50, I passed the quiz and was satisfied with myself. But of course, what counts the most is to keep practicing and going on actual dives. The future of my diving career. With that in mind, I hope I'll get to go on more adventurous cenote and ocean dives everywhere in the world. Our next destination, Paraguay, is a landlocked country, but maybe we'll still find a way to go scuba diving in one of their lakes. I was happy how Tulum and the people surrounding me supported my idea of starting my new hobby. I truly had no clue that being underwater could be such an incredible experience. Managing to overcome my fears and gaining trust in myself was one of the best parts of my diving experience. 
Tulum, with all its ancient sites and beautiful beaches, provided me with such positive energies and strength. No matter if you want to go diving there or visit the impressive Tulum ruins and Mayan pyramids, you'll be able to write your own story in Tulum. Like this video and subscribe to follow my adventures in Mexico, Brazil, Paraguay, and the rest of South America. If you're still hearing this, high five, my friends. I appreciate your attention span. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to get in contact with our host, dive master, and tour guide Patrick, check out the link in the description. I can't wait to hear from you in the comments, my Facebook or Instagram page. Hasta luego.